Azumi here. Hello everybody, uh, Azumi here, and today let's do Super Heart Pounding Play of Love S2 Solo. So, keep in mind that this is not the best team. I kind of just slapped it together and, and it worked. So, here we go. First off, I'm using Shinji and Fenrir. And this is the gear that I have on him. Next, I'm using Fully Awakened Regular Loki. Third, I am using Dark Knight Zato, also Max Awakened. Fourth, I am using Rhoda. No, you're not. And that's what I have on her. And last but not least, we are using Dark Star Hellblindy. And there we go. So, let's go with the fight. So, the main boss is Valkyrie Spiffle, who is in the range row, is Aesir, and is Airborne. Her action skill, Lovely Fortune Arrow, does 200% fire attack damage and charm for 3 turns to the farthest enemy row. 50% attack up for 3 turns and quick for 3 turns and sure shot for 3 turns to 3 allies with the highest attack. Damage scales up with own accuracy. Charm effect applies only to elves, therians, beasts. And it, it also ignores barriers. Her auto skill does fire attack damage and flame chain for three turns to all heroes in the connect. Flame chain applies only to elves, therians, yotuns, and beasts. Um, also her action skill on S1 does a flame field and on S2 does a high flame field. So the most effective elements here are going to be, in general, water and dark. And you're going to take the, 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 the farthest three in your party are going to take the heaviest damage. And the targeted gender, or the targeting scheme in this is female. So um, Rhoda is kind of an exception, but steer clear of using females in this particular fight. So let's move on to the crystals. <clears throat> the water crystal, crystal, which is a force crystal, is in the ranged row. And it does water attack damage to the two nearest enemies. Pretty simple. The next one is a earth force crystal. And it is in the ranged row and does earth attack damage to the two nearest enemies. Next we have the light magic crystal in the range row. Now I'll have pictures of all these crystals below. Um, it does, the light crystal does stone skin for th to the three front allies and light magic attack damage to one random enemy. On S1 and higher, corrupt to all. Light magic attack damage to the nearest row corrupt applies only to females so that's the reason you can't use females now you can probably if you crush that light crystal fast enough every fight so on to the last one which is the dark magic crystal which is also in the range row it does frenzy to the farthest back allies for three turns well, not for three turns, but Frenzy to the three back farthest allies. Um, magic attack damage to one random enemy. And on S2, exhaust to all. And dark magic damage to the farthest row. And exhaust applies only to females. So you have corrupt and exhaust to deal with on S1. And then exhaust on S2 if you use females in this fight. And basically, any kind of male is your best bet here. So, and that's pretty much about it for this fight. 
it's about over here and then I will check the damage to see what exactly who is the MVP all right all right come on come on come on And it is Loki by a long shot. So there you go. Thank you for watching.